Interview Series, The Lock-In Volume 2. What it is, what it do. This is The Lock-In Volume 2, Interview Series. All right, so what's your name? My name is Social Nerd. All right, social nerd. Um, what do you do in the realm of music and arts and creativity? Mainly, I am a music producer. I have uh, actually started tapping into my other artistic side, so I'm starting to write a little bit more. So I'm going nice. to say mainly, mainly an artist. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so, how did you feel when you first heard about the lock-in? I thought it was a very dope idea, actually. I personally haven't been in a studio setting before until the lock-in. So when I heard about it, I was like, oh, this would be a, a very dope opportunity to, you know, expand my repertoire and, you know, link up with other artists, you know, get more ideas into the pot, really. Okay, that's what's up. Appreciate that. Um, did you hear the first volume? I did. Okay, all right, so uh, what's your favorite song? I have a couple, um, you know, Lincoln Park and, you know, Holy Smokes, Cocoa Butter, but my personal favorite was Longer Nights. Longer Nights. Longer Nights was, yeah. was, was, a, was a really good one. Yes, sir. All right, appreciate that, appreciate that. Um, so, um, after coming to the lock-in and being a participant of the lock-in, how do you feel about it? Has your has your thoughts changed? Have they improved? Have they decreased? Um, you know, what, just uh, how do you feel about it now that you've been a part of it? It definitely um, improved and increased because honestly, I was very nervous. Even though I am a, I pretty much am a social butterfly. I like to mingle with people, but when it comes to like creating, I usually create on my own. So. When I got to it and started, you know, linking up with people and, you know, getting different creative ideas onto the, onto wax, mm -hmm. I was like, man, this is one of the best feelings ever. I just love watching people create. I really do. And the fact that I was there to help create, you know, history mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. just it just made me feel amazing. There's it's, it's no feeling like it. I appreciate that. So, um, where can your fans find your music? I'm on all social, um, well, not really social platforms, but I'm on all music platforms. I'm on Spotify, Tidal, SoundCloud, Pandora, all that. Okay. Do you have a message to the next volume participants? So that's volume three. Not only be ready to work, but also have fun with it at the same time. Okay. Because, yes, we're all creatives and we love to be, you know, mindful of, you know, how we want to create and things like that. But also, just open your mind, be, mm, just pretty much be outside the box with your thinking when you come in. And, you know, prepare to have fun and, and to work. Already, already. Um, do you have any final thoughts, last words, anything that you want to, want to say, anything you want to be put on wax? Mm, just be kind to one another. That's it. That's dope. I love that. That's all I want. Alright, so this is Lock In Volume 2 interview series. We got Social Nerd. Uh, we thank you. Thank you for being aboard. We thank you for your creativity and your input. Uh, just appreciate you in total, bro. Uh, so, once again, we thank you and we salute you. Interview series, The Lock-In Volume 2.